all we can expect is season three could become even more intense than season two. Well, this as the third season, season the uh, the UCI Track Champions League has proven to be uh, a success from the first season. We managed to have uh, progression into the second and we worked out to make the third season even better. I mean, the very first season was, uh, we, we saw some rivalries, but not necessarily uh, as intense as they were in the season two. So all we can expect is season three could become even more intense than season two. The way riders qualify to the UCI Track Champions League is primarily coming from the result they achieve at the UCI World Championships. Uh, for the endurance events, uh, these are the, uh, the result of the podiums of the endurance events. So that's 12 riders to which we add uh, roughly six um, wire cards, so to make a total of 18 for men and women. And likewise for the sprints, we do the top six in the sprint, the top six in the Kirin. That's 12 men and women, to which we add another six uh, wild cards to make 18. So that's our 36 men and 36 women. I think what's unique with the UCI Track Champions League and the, the sporting format is the intensity of racing. The racing, I don't see as long, not necessarily as long as as they are at the World Championships, but. Uh, it is intense and the, the repetition of effort for sprint or endurance is kind of a unique in the format we have at the UCI Track Champions League. Anything that has been done in order to promote via um, the back on track um, documentary or um, the, the content the way it, it was presented, the way the athletes are presented, the content that was done behind the scene in order to put the athletes forward. I think it is very much appreciated by, by the athletes themselves and it helps to, once again, uh, develop and promote the discipline which, which deserve to be put in the spotlight. Warner Brothers and Discovery Sports team has been great uh, partners into this uh, venture, trying to make the, this product the best possible product we could do to promote uh, track cycling and um, they've been very great partners trying to go and produce uh, introduce new features new tools new elements to again uh, promote the the discipline which is uh, very great i mean everyone in track cycling world like that vision I see this the, the track Champions League is become even bigger uh, in terms of um, impact but it'll be good to see the uh, the UCI track Champions League expanding to other continents than Europe uh, in, in in different ways it doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be physically to, to move into different continents but the uh, the aura of the, um, the UCI track Champions League to expand uh, even further than uh, what it is currently doing. Well, this seems very coming very quick because the, the Olympics are tomorrow, pretty much. And we just, we just finished Tokyo, which was a year later when, than normally. So I'm um, very pleased to, looking forward to see, to go to Paris and, and see the result in this, in this track that, uh, that's going to host the uh, second round of um, the UCI Track Champions League Season 3. Some riders will uh, take this as an, a part of their training. Um, it disturbs a little bit what they probably can do normally to, to prepare a, a major event, uh, but it helps, it, it kind of challenges them in their preparation in order to achieve the best result at ultimately at the World Championships and ultimately at the Olympic Games.